Welcome back to Bavarian RC. This is the third of my GoPro mount build videos. The first video showed you how to build the simple GoPro mount. In the second video the same GoPro mount was used for the GoPro selfie stick installation for the flight test FT Bronco. Finally, you will learn in this video how to build a rear facing GoPro stick installation for the flight test FT Bronco. If you don't know the FT Bronco, check the flight test website for more information. I'll add a link to the description below. So what do you need for the build? Some plywood, a fiberglass tube, a carbon fiber tube, my simple GoPro mount, some screws, epoxy resin, micro balloons, and fiberglass fabric. For free plans, a detailed list of material and the link to the build video of the simple GoPro mount, check the description below. If you have already built the GoPro selfie stick before, you can skip the following steps linked to the installation of the fiberglass tubes in the fuselage and continue with the cutting of the plywood parts. I'll show you how to install the selfie stick during the build of a new FT Bronco fuselage. You can also retrofit the selfie stick to an existing FT Bronco, but it will be easier for a new one. First, mark the center line on the lower deck of the fuselage. Then take the 11 by 10 mm fiberglass tube and cut two pieces with a length of 70 mm each. Use sanding paper to roughen the surface of the tubes. Mark the position of the tubes on the underside of the fuselage lower deck. Check the plan for the correct position. Slide both fiberglass tubes over the carbon fiber tube. Correctly position the fiberglass tubes and then secure them with tape. To ease the centering of the tubes, I recommend cutting four pieces of foam board, just leaving enough space in the middle for the carbon fiber tube. Now apply some hot glue to where the fiberglass tubes will be positioned. Be careful not to get any glue on the carbon fiber tube. Remove the tapes and pull out the tube. You need some foam board material to cut out four strips that serve as a support for the fiberglass tubes. Check the plan for the correct dimensions. Glue a strip to each side of the tubes. Let's continue with the plywood parts. Cut out the plan for the plywood pieces. The base plate and the two wings and the two parts for the mounting base. Apply some double-sided tape to the back of the paper. First, let's cut out the two parts for the mounting base. Attach the plan to the 3.5 mm plywood. Drill the holes with a 2 mm drill. Now it's time for the jigsaw. Take a 3 by 12 mm panhead screw and screw it in and out once for each of the four holes. 
Then add some CA glue to harden the threads. The next part is the base plate. Attach the plan to the 2.5mm plywood. Again use a 2mm drill to drill the holes. The wings are also made from 2.5mm plywood. This time use a 3.5mm drill. Take the 10 by 8 mm carbon fiber tube. The one I use has a sanded outer diameter, which allows it to fit perfectly into the 11 by 10 mm fiberglass tubes installed in the fuselage. Mark the length of 355 mm and cut it carefully. For the next step, we need the two wings, the two parts of the mounting base, four screws and some tape. Shorten the screws to a length of 8 mm. Add the tape to one side of each mounting base. It is used to double up the plywood before attaching the wings to simulate the thickness of the fiberglass laminate which will be applied later. Screw the wings onto the mounting base so that the tape is between the two parts. Be careful, the mounting base is asymmetrical. Check the plan for the right orientation. Mark the position of the rear edge of the wings on the carbon fiber tube at 63 mm. Insert the carbon fiber tube. Position the wing so that the mounting base edge is flush with the rear edge of the fuselage. Align the mark on the tube with the rear edge of the wings. Press the wings onto the fuselage and firmly towards the carbon fiber tube. Then apply CA glue to fix the wings. The mounting base will be glued to the fuselage at a later stage. In the next step, we'll fix the base plate to the carbon fiber tube. Adjust the base plate to be perfectly horizontal by supporting it on both sides. A center mark on the plywood and the carbon fiber tube will help to position the part. Use a drop of CA glue in the back and front to fix the plate in position. Now you can remove the screws and take out the tube. If required, add more CA glue to the joints of the plywood pieces. The full strength of the joint will be achieved by applying a fiberglass laminate. I use 80 gram per square meter fiberglass fabric. You need one piece for the base plate. Cut it approximately 1 cm bigger in each dimension. The orientation of the filaments should be 45 degrees. For the wings you need one piece for the upper side and one for the underside. The orientation of the filaments should be again 45 degrees. Now it's time to mix the epoxy resin. You will need two yogurt pots or plastic cups, whatever you have. Epoxy resin is toxic, so be sure to wear protective gloves and follow the product safety instructions. Ensure a good ventilation of your room or use a protective mask. You will need about 30 gram of epoxy resin. Mix resin and hardener in the correct ratio according to the specs of your product. Carefully mix resin and hardener. Decant about one third of the resin into the second pot. Add micro balloons to this pot until the resin is thick enough. It should no longer drop from a stick. Apply it to the joint between the base plate and the carbon fiber tube to build a fillet. This will make it easier to apply the fiberglass fabric. Use a paintbrush to apply a thin layer of epoxy to the underside of the base plate and the carbon fiber tube. Be careful not to touch the thickened epoxy applied in the previous step. Place the fiberglass fabric on the base plate. Use the paintbrush to carefully work the resin into the fabric and remove any air bubbles.
now apply the resin to one side of the wings and the carbon fiber tube in between. You can see that I protected the carbon fiber tube behind the wings with some tape to avoid any resin getting on. It would hamper the fit in the fiberglass tubes. I add a short piece of carbon fiber filament at the joint between the wing and the tube. This is not absolutely necessary, but it helps to build a smooth transition between wing and tube, which will make it easier to apply the fabric. Now place the fiberglass fabric on the resin. Again, use the paintbrush to carefully work the resin into the fabric and remove any air bubbles. Do the same steps on the other side of the wings. Let the epoxy cure overnight. Cut the overlapping parts. I recommend wearing a protective mask to avoid breathing the dust. Sand the surface but be careful not to go too deep into the laminate. Drill out the holes with a 2mm drill for the base plate and a 3.5mm drill for the wings. The rear facing stick is now finished. For the next step you will need the rear facing stick the mounting base and the four screws. Screw the mounting base to the wings. Again, be careful to have the correct orientation of the mounting base. Insert the rear facing stick into the tubes of the fuselage. Align the rear edge of the mounting base with the rear edge of the fuselage. If everything fits nicely, pull out the stick a bit and apply some hot glue to where the mounting base will be positioned. Slide the stick into the correct position, remove any excess glue and let it dry. Remove the screws and pull out the stick. In the next step I will cut out the intermediate plate. It will be located between the base plate and the GoPro mount to create some space for the strap that is holding the GoPro. If you already built the selfie stick before, you can skip the steps for the intermediate plate. It can be used for both the selfie stick and the rear stick. Drill the holes with a 3.5mm drill. Now we need the template for the cutouts in the fuselage. The holes in the fuselage are needed to access the screws with a screwdriver. Adjust the template at the fuselage rear edge and mark the center of the two holes in the front with a pin. Cut the half circles on the rear edge with a knife using the template. Drill the forward two holes with a 6mm drill. Now grab your rear facing stick, the GoPro mount, the intermediate plate and the four screws. Insert the screws into the GoPro mount and the intermediate plate and screw it to the rear stick. Attach the GoPro with the strap before inserting the stick into the fuselage. Prepare the shortened screws and insert the stick into the fiberglass tubes installed in the fuselage. Push it all the way in until the holes in the wings match with the threads in the mounting base. Insert the screws and tighten them.
magnetic screwdriver is quite helpful for the front two screws. The rear facing GoPro stick is now completely installed. Once your FT Bronco is finished, you're ready for takeoff. Putting the GoPro at the rear end of the fuselage will push your center of gravity back a bit. You should be able to easily counterbalance this by pushing the battery towards the nose tip of the fuselage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a like and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.